Hello YouTubers and fellow collectors. Welcome back to Mastodon Comics and Collecting. This is episode two of what we collect. Today I'm going over vinyl, records, music, and the like. Uh, I have not a huge collection of vinyl records, um, but I have quite a few. Uh, I'm just going to illustrate here. I have these, uh, call them dust jackets, uh, record bags. I don't know what their specific name is, but, uh, these hold approximately 40 to 50 records, um, and I have five of these, uh, and they're, they're all full, um, and I actually I have a stack that is not in a bag downstairs. Um, so I think the last count, I had about 300, maybe a little over 300 uh, records. Um, some of them I... Uh, inherited from family members, uh, so, uh, the majority of them I, I bought at flea markets and thrift stores, stuff like that. Um, but this particular one, the first one is good old Triumph, uh, Canadian power trio. Um, uh, one of their uh, really classic songs was Lay It On The Line. It's got a it's got a great hook if you ever get the chance. I recommend checking it out. Um, Rock and Roll Machine's a great album. Uh, but I'm going to highlight the, the, the records that I have on the wall. Um, because if I try to go through those five bags plus, um, I will be here all day. And I'm trying to keep the, the video short uh, because there's other, other guys I don't want to take you away from. Um, even if, if you are watching my videos. Um, but uh, the first one here is uh, Meet the Beatles. Uh, this one's uh, kind of important to me because it belonged to my mom. Um, it was one of hers when she was growing up. Uh, and I, I always loved that, that cover. I'm not particularly fond of the album. I like the later Beatles albums. Um, but this one, uh, this one, this cover I liked uh, because just because of the layout. Uh, you kind of had, it's kind of metaphorical, not metaphorical, but kind of symbolic that the, the three, we'll say, quote unquote, original members, and then Ringo, who was the replacement for, for Pete Best on drums. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever made that correlation or not, but I, I have. Um, uh, next is Frampton, uh, from Pete Frampton. Um, I believe this one was released in 74 or 75. It was after uh, Humble after he was at a Humble Pie. Um, it was his first solo record. Uh, great record. Uh, classic tracks. The next one is uh, really cool because it's uh, Frank Frazetta art. And anybody who collects uh, books like Creepy and, and, and uh, Conan... Um, We'll, we'll know the Death Dealer. Um, and uh, Molly Hatchet's a great southern rock band uh, of the like of um, Leonard Skinner and, and uh, Elvin Bishop and, and so forth, the Allman Brothers. But uh, Frigetta's signature is down here on the bottom. Um, that's a great, great, uh, great cover. And I'd like to somehow get this price tag off because that, that kind of stuff kind of irritates me. It takes away from the art. Uh, the next one is Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison. That, uh, that live close-up with the sweat running down his face as he's, uh, as he's uh, performing my shadows in the, in the glass. As he's performing uh, at Folsom Prison. Um, great songs. Uh, you can see the track listing. This is something I kind of thought was neat that they did with uh, some of the live albums back then. Um, but uh, uh, Orange Blossom Special, Folsom Prison Blues that he opened up with. The next one is 
Fog hat. Full for the city. Uh, I always, I got a kick out of this one. This this cover um, is uh, uh, Dave Prevert sitting there on a, on a uh, looks like one of the old soda crates fishing in the sewer for brown trout. Uh, but uh, I always thought that was that was kind of funny because uh, it's just a not an odd image, but yeah, it 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 explains a lot as far as uh, city life and and what your options are on on uh, depending on who you are uh, growing up in a city. Um, but this this was uh, had uh, the classic track slow ride and uh, full for the city, of course. Um, but uh, great, great album, great songs. Um, any one of those those albums, I recommend picking up. Um, if not for nostalgia, for uh, uh, for the music itself. Um, but uh, yeah, I have uh, I have a lot of a lot of good records. Uh, uh, Yesterday and today, or Y and T, as they later uh, changed it to, um, Mean Streak is a an excellent album. If if you're a metal or a hard rock fan. That is a great, great album. Um, Dave Manichetti on guitars. Uh, but uh, that's it for uh, for this episode of uh, What We Collect. Um, uh, I'll be uh, going down through. I was thinking about it this morning. Um, I, I have a lot of options for, for, this, for this series. Um, because I, I collect pops and I collect uh, VHS cassettes, um, and uh, so so stay tuned. Uh, this is this is one that's going to be dropping uh, once a month, um, provided uh, what what my uh, when my work schedule falls, it'll be at the beginning of the month, um, uh, and uh, when I'm, when I'm able to uh, to do the videos, but. Uh, I hope you enjoy, uh, and as always, feel free feel free to like, subscribe, comment, uh, or don't. Uh, um, and uh, as always, keep collecting, keep reading, and keep sharing. Or in this case, keep listening.